amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. Esta semana we've got another community requested topic, el sueño seguro para los bebés, so like safe sleep recommendations for babies, and if you've got topics that you are interested in, that you want to learn about, please send them my way, I love responding to your requests and building lessons that work for you. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started with some vocabulario para empezar. So first of all, we've got los muebles. So furniture vocabulary. When it comes to safe sleep, let's talk a little bit about furniture. We've got la cuna, the crib. We've got el colchón, the mattress for the crib. Las barandas. Las barandas are the railings on the crib. Now, colchón is the mattress for really anything. It doesn't have to be uh, el colchón only for la cuna it could be for la cama also. El moisés, el moisés. I love this word because it's just a great sort of uh, <clears throat> metaphor almost. So moisés, Moses, right? So what is the Moses? It's the little baby basket, right? Okay, the bassinet basket. Okay, el sofá, sofá. El sillón, like a overstuffed chair. La cama, bed. <clears throat> las mesedoras, las mesedoras. Mesedoras are those little baby seats that are kind of low to the floor and they're lightweight and you can, you know, they've got like little metal uh, legs supports to them. And actually, <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a baby in the house, but uh, what I remember mostly about las mesedoras is that they're perfect for breaking little pinky toes as you walk by and you catch your toe on one of those little metal legs. Uh, anyway, you could set it, you know, they're like bouncy and sometimes they've got a little U thing with baby uh, toys on the top. That's a mesedora. I forget. It's just like a little baby seat that you would have uh, on the ground or hopefully not on a tabletop or on a countertop. Las butacas de lactancia, butacas de lactancia, these are those like ottoman type nursing chairs where, you know, you sit down, put your feet up and you rock back and forth. That's a butaca de lactancia. So let's talk about la ropa de cama or cuna. So ropa, we know ropa is clothing. Ropa de cama is like bedding, so like sheets and things like that. So we've got las cobijas, blankets. Los cubre colchones, a cubre colchón is like the fitted sheet that goes over the, over the mattress, right? Los protectores para colchones, so this is like the mattress protector, you know, sometimes they're plasticky and waterproof and water resistant, that kind of thing. Los protectores para cuna, o las chichoneras, these are the, um, like, crib bumpers which we'll probably talk about that you don't want to include, right? The, that's that uh, soft stuff that you put along the bottom of the barandas, the railing, okay? Otro vocabulario that might come up, las almohadas, pillows. Los pijamas para invierno, so like warm, thermal, like wintry pajamas. Y los animales de peluche, so stuffed animals. And then an the adjective that's very important in this kind of context, vacío, empty, vacío, okay? All right, so that's some vocabulario para empezar. Let's go to some verbos y acciones, some more vocabulario. What are some action words and some verbs that might be useful in these kinds of conversations? Primero, acostarlo o acostarla. And acostar, acostar is like to put to bed, right? So acostarlo if it's a boy, acostarla if it's a girl. Boca arriba para dormir. Now, in English, our reference is belly and back, right? Well, in Spanish, the reference is mouth. So mouth up is on your back. So acostarlo o acostar la boca arriba para dormir. Uh, lie them down on their back to go to sleep. Colocarlo o colocarla, same difference, boy, girl. Colocar is like to put gently. Uh, it's similar to the verb poner, if you've heard of the verb poner before, just put or place. Colocar, though, gives this context of like, a little more intentionally and gently. So, colocarlo, colocarla boca abajo para jugar. So, so put your baby down, belly down to play. Okay? Dormir juntos, sleep together. Dormir separados, sleep separately. Dormir separados. Okay. Uh, dormir seguro, sleep safely. Para reducir el riesgo de, so in order to reduce the risk of, La muerte de cuna. So this is a one way to say crib death or 
uh, it's kind of a low register way to talk about uh, SIDS. And here is the slightly more higher register or more formal way to talk about SIDS. El síndrome de muerte súbita del lactante. A lactante is like a baby, infante. So, el síndrome de muerte súbita del lactante. Okay, hey, if you're learning something, please take just a second to like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's how we're able to reach other people and, you know, continue giving these free lessons. So, hey, if you're liking this, please uh, let us know by subscribing, sharing, all those good things. Thanks. Okay, back to our lesson. ¿Dónde acostar al bebé? Where should you put your baby to sleep? Es importante, it's important, acostar a su bebé en su cuna o en su moisés. So it's important to put your baby to bed in its crib or their bassinet, uh, their, their basket, their moisés. Okay? No debe acostarlo en su cama. You should not put your baby down uh, or put your baby to bed in your bed, en el sofá, on the couch. Ni en el sillón, or on the overstuffed chair. Ni aquí is like uh, that neither nor kind of thing. So in a negative way, it's like saying and, but in a negative way, okay? So not in the bed, not in the sofa, nor en el sillón, okay? El riesgo de la muerte súbita, so the risk of the sudden infant death syndrome, Es cinco veces, five times, más alto cuando se acuestan en superficies suaves. Uh, so the risk is five times higher when you put your baby to bed on soft surfaces. Según, according to la Asociación Americana de Pediatría. So the American Association of Pediatrics. El colchón, the mattress, del bebé tiene que ser firme. So your baby's mattress needs to be firm. No cubra el colchón con cositas más suaves, cobijas, blankets, almohadas, etc. ¿Cómo acostar a su bebé? So how do you put your baby to bed? Es muy importante acostar a su bebé boca arriba para dormir. So it's very important to put your baby to bed boca arriba para dormir. Remember, boca arriba is on his back to sleep. Su cuna debe ser vacío. So, his crib or her crib should be empty. Solamente hay que poner el colchón. You only need to put el colchón, the mattress, con su cubre colchón with its, uh, with its fitted sheet en la cuna. Nada más in the crib. Nothing more. Si le preocupa que tenga frío, if you're worried that your baby might be cold, póngale pijamas de invierno. Put some winter jammies on your baby. No debe usar nunca. You should never use. No debe usar nunca las almohadas, pillows, las cobijas, blankets, los protectores para la cuna. So any of those uh, uh, crib, uh, what do you call those? Uh, like the guards for, for the rails, the crib bumpers, bumpers. Ni los animales de peluche so, or any stuffed animals. Okay, amigos, that's it for today. Preguntas, if you have questions, feel free to post them in the comments section below and we'll be glad to answer them for you. Gracias por aprender español conmigo juntos. Mejoramos comunidades. Para más español, head over to the website, commongroundinternational.com. And para tomar exámenes de español médico, if you want to take some free medical Spanish terminology tests, head over to Certified Spanish where you can create a free account and take as many free terminology tests as you would like. Okay, amigos, hasta la próxima semana. Chao.